wham it's still drying i got a drip line right here drying put a custom tray i mean this thing is like you you, you could sit on this so yeah we had to we had to cut three layers of diamond plate aluminum diamond plate two boards two one inch thick boards in there i'll put a cheap air conditioner a little 5000 we have the tray slightly tilted on an angle down this way put a drip line right here down through here out through here generator the honda's gonna be on a pull tray to pull out here so we can run the honda and run this 5000 btu we can run on battery or we can plug in shore power let me show you i right, put some lights on in here okay we got some lights on some leds look at these all right so this is it right here guys check it out I got I got still clean up in here. This is a heater. This is a 5000 BTU. We trimmed it out and stuff. It looks pretty good, huh? So I'm going to turn it on in a second, but here's our battery charging station, laptops. We got everything up here. We got switches for everything. Now this is air conditioner right here. This is for when we're driving down the road. This is really strong. This is built in the ambulance so the motor has to be running. This all this is is a, all they are is coils and a fan back here. So the hose goes down, the freon hose and it goes over there. So the dash air conditioner works. Now let's turn the inverter on here. Okay, the inverter's already on. So let's turn it, run it on battery. So we're gonna go like this. A high fan. Put on low fan so you can hear the compressor. It's ice cold already instantly. So which is really nice. This is really cool because we're able to run an AC unit off a lithium battery. And you just can't do that with a big AC unit. You know, I could put a, I could, I could have made a hole right here, okay, which I didn't want to cut my roof open anyways. And I could have put like a cheap Dometic that's light, like a 13.5 up there. But I couldn't run it off the Honda generator. I want to be able to run a gallon of gas a day because I know gas is going crazy right now. Diesel's at 4.69 a gallon here, so if I put one here, even if I'm parked, it's gonna rip the the see. We used to do a lot of air conditioning work in Miami, and I used to do a lot of AC work in commercial buildings. And I know that this a unit here would be too big for this ambulance, like a 13.5, because it's not going to draw the moisture out, the humidity, and that's what makes you comfortable. So this is ice cold, blows real hard. This, we put this here because half this right here, we weren't even using this space. And part of that bay really wasn't using, so it doesn't stick out here, so it's great. And if you look, Right here, there's an aluminum tray, solid aluminum tray. So this thing's sitting on a tray, so all the water is gonna go back, back out, not in the ambulance. That's working off a lithium battery. I gotta put an LED light here. There's lights in here. I gotta get LED, but this thing's working great. You feel it coming out of here? I feel it on the bottom and I feel it on the top coming out. I don't feel it too much in the middle. It's kind of weird, but I know that this is an intake here. But we have plenty of air breathing here because we left a gap here. There's plenty of air. I can feel the air getting sucked in from the bottom, which is fine. Um, I don't know if that's going to suck in um, my cold air. i got to figure all that out. So all I know right now is there's heat coming out of here. And this drip tray is going to catch this hose and come down here. So what's cool about it is we can't use this. We have to have the door when we use it. So I'm going to put a cone right here. But when you shut this door, you don't even know we have an AC unit in here. Which is really cool so it doesn't look tacky you know plus there's no leaks so this is only sticking out a little bit it kind of worries me a little bit i don't know where it... i don't completely understand how that's sucking in and blowing out but i know there's no it's, it's ice cold and the heat's coming out the back so i think it's working good i have enough ventilation for it to recycle so i'm pretty sure we got it right so if we don't have it right let me know but i do know that there's a gap here there's a gap on the top a big gap on the bottom so i think i just don't want to suck in all hot air here well this would be outside anyway so it's okay it's it's outside so i think it'll work but that's why i put an ac in here and we have batteries under here that we lock up every night but i only have one lithium here from dakota lithium so i have a charger charging it right now because we're test we're running on battery um my main charger can charge over there in the shore power but um this is what i do every night so we, we got one 100 amp hour lithium i've been using this for a while i want to put two 200 amp hours in here so we can run that ac um all day long hopefully so what's cool is i can go and shut the main off on this 
ambulance that shut the main trigger under the, the, the DC under the seat, but the inverter and AC still work. So I'm gonna draw less amperage when I do that. So there's a switch under the seat right here. I shut this off. It kills everything in the ambulance, all the lights, everything, bay lights, everything, but yet this is still running on battery. So that worked out really well. So the only thing is we're gonna have to put a cone here when we're at calls and we're gonna have to kind of park. I mean, the drip, drip, the drip tray is designed. So if I'm parked in an angle this way, it's still gonna drip this way. We yank the tray down, but this is strong. It's not going anywhere, so I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Get believing in the comments below. Did I do it right? I don't know. I wanted to pull less power than a big unit on top. I have 10 units right now I could put on the top of this, no problem. Why? Because then I can't run off a little generator and only pull a gallon of gas. I'd have to run a big generator. It's heavy, it's loud, and I lose space up there because sometimes we actually put AC units on the roof, strap them to the ladder, the rack, and we just take them from the roof and just throw them right on. Look at, look, for instance, we just take them from the roof and just get parked close and we toss them right on. So we'll pull a, we pull a cable strap in the shop right up to the ambulance roof, strap it on and leave and just boom, right on the roof. So you go here, we put, we installed this right here. This whole stainless steel bracket holds all our crowbars and stuff. We installed this a grease gun holder right here. It's kind of cool. It's not going anywhere. We actually put the tube up in there. It's got LED lights in here, windows. It's kind of cool. So I don't know. We're trying. We want to stay cold this summer. So have a good one. Like and share.